Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at an objective player from Footies. Footies objective, the first ever objective Footies. I don't know why I'm telling Footies so much. I love this promo. But in today's video, we're going to be looking at none other than Kareem Adiemi, one of my favorite players. I've I don't know why I like this guy so much. I don't even watch him play that much. But every time I watch him play, it's so nice to watch him play. So I am going to be I have completed the objective. Uh, so in today's video, we'll see what you need to do in order to get this card. I'm pretty sure many of you guys would have completed the objective by now because this card is really nice. 99 pace is really nice. So we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be looking at his stats, his attributes, his play style, everything, guys. And then we'll put him in a team and we'll see how good he is in game. Whether this card lives up to its expectation or is it just overhyped as some of these cards in game are right now so yeah let us actually look at the objective part of it firstly you need to score where is that score yeah you need to score a goal with a bundesliga player in five different games so take anybody who's from bundesliga just score a goal in five different games you'll complete this and then you need to have three players from germany guys main thing three players from germany from the beginning just play five games and win five games with three players from germany you'll complete this you'll complete this and then you need to play six games so play an extra game with your favorite squad you'll complete this play six and then this final one which is assist seven goals you can complete this in just one game you need to get seven assists with a player or players who have minimum 93 pace so if let's say you have garnacho in your team you can get seven assists with garnacho and then you'll complete this in just one game so simple easy within like few few hours i think one hour maximum or two hours you should be able to complete depending on how much the half time is so yeah now looking at the player now 99 pace like we said in the beginning of the video really good hopefully I feel like it is 99 pace. If I if the if I doesn't it doesn't feel like 99 pace, I let you guys know what it feels like, what what number it feels like. And 91 shooting, yes, 94 finishing, 90 shot power. Long shots is a bit weak, but I mean I am gonna be using him at left mid. We are not gonna be putting him at left wing, even though he can play at left wing. So before we actually look at that, see he he can play at left wing, striker and right mid. But we will be playing him at his preferred position, which is left mid. I'll try to make a formation with that uh, with that lineup in it. I mean, that position in it. And then apart from that, I mean, shooting, I'll be honest, he has good finishing, good shot power, and he has 89 curves. So I think that should be enough. I think if we get full cam with him, he'll get boosted stats. So we'll look at the boosted stats when we add once we add him to the team. Uh, passing 95 crossing really good really good 95 vision also really good 98 short pass amazing 85 long passes though like long pass is a bit weak you know i'm not gonna lie long pass and long shot are looking weak, weak bro right now so i don't know about that we'll see how it is in game and dribbling he has 97 agility he has 94 dribbling 91 ball control 93 balance he has 97 stamina 99 jumping and 93 heading accuracy also if you guys look at uh, defending and physical now i am actually eager to see how he's going to be in game we get a free card 99 pace 95 rated left mid uh, adme so is he going to be good in game i don't know we will definitely be testing him to the core so you get play style pluses finish shot plus you get incisive pass plus whip pass plus and then you get rapid plus so these are the play styles pluses the, he has he has six play styles and four play style pluses now if you guys want to look at the play styles he has he has Trivela, relentless flare trickster aerial he has aerial wow okay and he has chip shot as well so we have uh, he has five star weak foot by the way i forgot to tell about i've talk about that he is a left footed player with five star weak foot so left foot and right foot will be five star five star and he has a nice high high attacking work rate and a d high d what what am i blabbering he has high attacking and defensive work rate guys yeah i am good and he has four four star weak foot as well i mean skill move as well so yeah i am confused what to talk about very excited about this card very excited about the very first uh footies objective uh we have a bunch of cards bunch of player reviews coming to the channel as well every single day i am uploading videos guys and best believe for footies we are gonna go all out for footies we are gonna go all out majority of the players being released are gonna be 
done and tested on this channel i'm gonna be i mean at least the ones that are for free or the ones which are reasonably priced i can get them and i will do a player review on them and i'll show you guys and make a video on them i am going to be doing a lot of pack openings as well i have already started saving for pack opening number two if you guys didn't watch the first one make sure you guys go check out the channel a bunch of videos are there like i said we have uploaded around we have uploaded more than thousand plus videos guys and we are just just now at 300 and some odd subscribers but we have uploaded more than thousand videos make sure you guys hit that subscribe button helps out a lot make sure you guys check out the videos as well a bunch of videos guys a bunch of videos are there i'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy all these videos now let me just add him to the squad and we'll see how he's in game okay i have added uh Ariami to the squad at left mid position and this is the boosted stats he has now he gets plus four in dribbling control uh, ball control strength short par long pass curve volleys attacking position so all these places he gets plus four and a few more places which are not told out loud if you guys want to check it out just pause the video here you guys can see where and all his stats are getting boosted the most exciting thing for me is the short par his um, dribbling guys short par and dribbling i guess getting uh, boosted stats which are really good he gets plus four curve as well so it goes from 89 to 93 which is really good dribbling goes to 98 ball control goes to 95 short power goes to 94 really good stats will be testing his pace shooting and dribbling and crossing so these are the things that we'll be uh, looking at in this uh, player review for adme and this is the squad i'm going to be using i still have a couple of uh, you know objectives to complete so that we can review Alex Scott, the hero's footies card as well. So these three cards I need to keep in and grind out with them. Yeah, let's go and see how he is in game. I don't know why I chose to play against this team, but uh, it is what it is. I have no clue how I'm going to go past these midfield and defensive players, but it is going to be hell. But we are here to be there. What? We are here to grind. We are here to grind. Guys, he has too much pace. How do I control a player with so much pace? He has too much pace. His crossing is also really good. Like, it was really good. My, my players were out of position, so I couldn't find a player. But his crossing and his pace, so far, really nice. I am playing, I think, 4-2-1-2. 4 4 1 2 1 2 sorry i don't know what i was talking about there i am playing 4 4 1 2 1 2 uh, it is a really good formation i like this formation my favorite formation is 4 3 3 attack but this is i think my second favorite so far he has really good dribbling and ball control as well guys like this is really good this card is really really rapid and he has really good passing stats and dribbling stats as well Ooh. a back-to-back -back w we get guru Raiten, who was a really good free card and now we are reviewing adiemi who's another really good free card and did we score with martins <laughs> how has this happened then how has this happened all our free card players are playing really well now you guys might come up with something like this is squad battles it is going to be easy i showed you guys the squad i am playing world class against that squad if it is going to be that easy then it shouldn't be easy for me because i am a noob i keep telling you guys if you guys want to see how how bad i actually am please join my twitch stream whenever i stream you guys will get uh, notified if you hit that follow button on twitch you guys will know how bad i am this is one main reason i don't play foot champ finals I play champs, I don't get qualified and even if I get qualified for finals, I just ignore finals because for getting qualified itself is such a sweaty thing and then yeah, I just ignore finals. But so far, ADME feels really good like, really good card. Steady card, you can use him as a, as a left midfielder. I don't know left wing how he's gonna be because left wing usually is more compact and up, up top and left mid is like a more wider position and you can bring him close in, into the midfield position as well look at this like if i have to show you guys 
now this is left back right the left mid is usually here and lifting is usually here where puskas is right now so left mid is a really good position and uh, adiyami is like playing really well at this position not gonna lie that was a crazy deflection goal i didn't expect that to go inside but yeah it did we'll play till half time i'll say, tell you guys what more if, if you guys need to know anything but so far dribbling is insane pace is insane and then shooting is also pretty decent it's not crazy but shooting is pretty decent you can get the job done with him it's really really well and you can play him at striker and uh, right mid position apart from left mid and left wing so three more alternate positions you can play him apart from left mid as well so i think it's a really good card make sure you guys try it out if you guys like if you guys are looking for a good left mid or a left wing player might be a good choice for you if you don't have any crazy players in your team make sure you guys complete the objectives guys like even if you don't want to use them you can use them as a, a, a fodder card like some some sbc if you want to complete you can use them in the sbc as well so i am going to conclude the video here hope you guys enjoyed it hope it was informative enough for you guys to make a decision on the card but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video it's going to be a couple of more uh, evolution reviews and player reviews till we hit the next uh, pack opening because it is a bit of a struggle to get pack but i'm trying my best to get you guys the pack opening so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling guys bye bye